Hey, Mike Callahan, want to make a quick video. Uh, a lot of people talking about softwares around the service industry and how they don't work or they're not d set up correctly and all the issues. So I'm not going to go through the laundry list of complaints regarding an industry-specific software, but uh, what I am going to do is kind of expose the truth. And now, um, being in uh, the lawn care industry for the last 25 years and now helping other service business owners, specifically in lawn care, snow removal, and uh, believe it or not, cleaning as well, uh, probably 35 or 40% of the people we talked to are in the cleaning industry. So I think I've got an interesting perspective. Um, but the main thing is, well, usually it's not the software that's the issue. Now there is some pretty um, old, outdated dinosaurs out there in the service industry that aren't cloud-based and um, aren't a good CRM, customer relationship management software, may not have automations or an open API. Uh, but the, the video today really is, instead of blaming the software that you have chosen, as long as you've made a good choice of a software platform, uh, it usually comes down to not having optimized systems and processes in the business at all, or even worse, if you've created process and systems that are not efficient and not streamlined and trying to force those broken processes or the lack of processes into a software system when you start it. So in my opinion, um, if you're going to be successful in a customer relationship management software such as Service Autopilot or any of the other ones out there in the service industry, before you go out and buy it or before you go out and reinvent it, and get it set up for success this season, you really need to define your processes. And those processes need to be streamlined literally from lead acquisition all the way through billing and fulfillment. And a lot of times um, we see some really crazy things like maybe they want to, someone does a carbon copy estimate they then go through their fax machine to make a copy of it, and then they uh, will scan it and put it in the back end of the software and then manually track the estimate uh, in the system. And then instead of emailing it out, they'll print it out and do it hard copy mail or drop it off in person. Uh, when the streamlined solution would probably get them into the CRM, uh, grab the turf square footage off uh, online measurement, or if you're in a home cleaning, grab the square footage of the livable area off Zillow and create an automated pricing matrix that pulls up your price, budget, time, and cost based on your numbers. Uh, so I've seen so many different ways of utilizing a software that actually creates 15 to 20 extra steps for the salesperson and it never gets fully implemented. So it's not the software, it's the fact that most companies do not have a set process and procedure that's streamlined and to try to take a broken process and put that into a software system is literally setting yourself up for success or uh, failure basically. So what I'm gonna do over the next few videos this week is go through and define what I would uh, prescribe as one of the best workflows from lead acquisition through billing and fulfillment and break that down. So if you don't have a process and system right now that's streamlined, you could use this as a model and tweak it for your lawn care home cleaning business. But it's usually not the software. It's the fact that in um, business owners don't have the time and they don't spend the time to get out of the day-to-day -day grind to set up an actual workflow process that's systematized for the best customer experience uh, internally and externally. And what I mean by internally is uh, a lot of times these broken processes, uh, we're going to consider our staff an internal customer. And this broken process is probably causing turnover or at least massive frustration for your office. Uh, I want to say what's up to Michelle at Pink Collar. So Michelle at um, runs a really streamlined process with pink collars. It's a virtual assistant uh, setup. And I, I'm sure Michelle would agree with me that sometimes um, as industry experts, we have to uh, sit, take a step back when we're working with people in the service industry to help them define uh, what their workflow process is. Because a lot of times uh, we just do, 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 but we don't look from the outside uh, as a business owner to see what a good workflow process is and then how to implement it into a software system. So uh, like I said, over the next week or two here, I'm gonna break down the, 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 the perfect process or close to perfect process that I would recommend to drive through a CRM. But if you're having problems with your, your software program right now, whether it's Service Autopilot, Jobber, Single Ops, whatever those services are that you're using, ZenMade, um, there's all pros and cons of all these software systems. Uh, but the problem usually is it's the business owner 
trying to put a broken system or even worse, a non-existent system into the software. And it's obviously not going to work. So um, I'm gonna highlight over the next couple of videos here how to actually create a workflow process to systematize it. And if you haven't defined it, then by all means, take a look at this video and tweak our workflow process to your business. But um, if you can't standardize it, it can't be delegated, and if it can't be delegated, then the business owner is a slave to the business because they are becoming the single point of failure um, and usually the frustration point of their staff because you're forcing people to uh, get into a CRM that, that's not um, fully set up or optimized. And the biggest issue here is once we have a CRM, a customer relationship management software or an automated platform, that should be set up to actually support the mission of the business. So if your mission is to give the best service with quick response and support your customer um, throughout the buying process and then after they bought to continue to be able to follow up with good um, communication, the issue here is, is if you haven't utilized um, the CRM to support that mission, you're not only failing your team, but you're failing your customer. So I highly recommend whatever software you're using, or if you're going out to look and buy a software, uh, de develop those systems and processes and then implement them into the system. Um, and most of the really good CRMs that are on the market right now that are cloud-based will support uh, most process and systems or some minor tweaks. But um, recommendation today is go out, build a process and system, then implement it into your CRM. Um, it's simple growth in the Callahan's. We used to use a um, uh, basically a, a process we call the, the price matrix blueprint. So to take our pricing matrix um, and systematize it, we'd actually blueprint it out and then put it into the CRM. Uh, so it allowed us to visualize the process and system and then be able to execute it inside the software system without any uh, missing links. So it was optimized once we got it in there. So uh, the talk today is really just define a process and system, then put it into your CRM, and then make sure it supports your mission. So whatever your mission is. Uh, at Callahan's Lawn Care, uh, we wanted to give you the lifestyle you desired. Um, and, and the idea was that our internal client, our, our employee, wanted we wanted to give them the lifestyle they desired. So if it was getting out of work early um, and spending more time with their family, the software and the system we built was to basically promote efficiency and not be bogged down and have to work to 10 o'clock every night, but you could get in, get your job done, and get it right. And then on the flip side of that, our external customer, we wanted to give them the lifestyle they desired. So if they wanted to be able to have the ease of hiring a service provider with transparency and go see their kids say football game or their daughter's ballet class or whatever that may be, if that's the lifestyle they desired, we gave them uh, through the CRM the ability to go through the customer portal and see all their billing and all the history, the ability to communicate with us and um, things like be there and been there. So we would automatically text or email them before we went to the service. And after we left, they'd get an automated message. But that CRM and the process supported our mission of giving our internal um, staff the lifestyle they desired and our external staff the lifestyle they desired. Um, another interesting example is uh, basically our mission at Simple Growth is to help uh, service business owners take their life back from their business. So we do this by using a CRM that automates the workflow and helps um, our customers streamline their process to help take their life back from the business and buy that time back. So that process of that CRM with automation supports our mission as an organization. Uh, but if we didn't have the process and procedure built before we bought that platform, it would have never worked. So spend the time this week, get away from the grind before things get real crazy here, getting into the spring season, especially lawn care. Define your systems implement it into your CRM. If you haven't bought a CRM, make sure those systems will go into the CRM flawlessly or very close, and make sure that CRM is one that you can go and scale into. Uh, so one of the previous CRMs we were on was desktop-based uh, before we moved to Service Autopilot, and I will tell you when we had to convert from that desktop-based to the cloud-based software, it was a lot of work and not a small undertaking. So as you're going to look at a software, um, very similar to if any of you folks are watching, I talked to GIE, you want to look at a platform that is scalable for where you're, not only where you're at now, but where you want to be in the future. So don't be short-sighted and buy something that's not scalable to where you want to go, but applicable to where you're at now. So build your systems, make sure your CRM and your system support your mission, and you'll be in good shape this upcoming season.